I want to actually create a new group, because this is going to allow you to do some really sophisticated customization where you can actually create a new tab set up, set up and also a new group set up. All right, so just for example, I have home, and then I have within home, I have everything that's in there. But I'd like to actually, I'm, let's say I'm doing more graphic stuff, for example. And I want to have those graphic tools available to me. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to create a new group within home. So you'll see here is home. And then you'll see down below, I have new group as an option. So you'll see that once I do that, under home has new group. See that there? And it's just called new group. Of course, I'm not going to call it new group. I like to customize the, the name of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. So I have the rename option down below, or I can right click, and I can say rename right there. Either one will do the same exact thing. So as soon as I click on that, it gives me the option to go ahead and rename. So I'm going to start typing in right now, and I'm just going to say graphics. I'm coming in as, OK. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on, type that in, click on OK. And these icons are for another purpose. Don't get distracted by these. I'm going to click OK. And now you'll see here, here's graphics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some icons in there for me to access some of my graphic tools. Now, they may or may not be inside popular commands, but I know where they are going to be. So I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to go into where some of my tabs actually might be. So you're going to see here I have popular commands, all commands, file tab, all that kind of stuff here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my main tabs, because that's where I'm going to find my graphic icons. So I go to here, and you'll see that all the stuff that currently exists, on this side, I want to be able to customize it to have it within here. And I know for a fact it's inside of insert, and then I have illustration. So I want to just kind of add that in there. So I'm going to choose picture, and then simply click add. Clip art, add shapes, add, and smart art, add. All right, so you see I'm just getting it from this side and then putting it onto this side. OK, so now what I'd like to do is just bump this up. So it's going to be one of the first things that I see. And you'll see on the right-hand side now I have the up arrow and the down arrow to move this up in the order or down in the order. In this case, I can't go down, but I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And there we go. That's going to be my, my graphics tab right there for me to work with. All right, and that's going to be first. Now, if I wanted to create a new tab, I would do the same exact process, but it would be a new tab. So in addition to home and insert and all that, it's going to be a new tab. I'm not going to do that, but it's going to be the same process. But just for the sake of time, I'm just going to focus mostly on uh, just how to do the groups. OK, so there that is. And I'm just going to click OK. And you'll see now. I now have, within my Home tab, I now have a graphics group. So you can totally customize it from the ground up.